Science said it's most extreme. Out on the frozen Arctic Ocean, researchers are braving punishing cold to measure the ice below them. In recent years, it's become thinner. The Arctic is changing and we have consistently underestimated the pace of change over the recent years. And there are reasons to think that this will continue. And the most important thing with the changing Arctic is that it also affects weather and climate elsewhere. The expedition was launched in the eerie dark of the polar winter in January. A research vessel, the Lancer, stationed in the ice pack, acting as a mothership for the scientists. With conditions like these, very little research has been done at this time of year. Our time-lapse camera captures how the ice is in constant motion, ripped apart right beside the ship in less than two hours. It's minus 21, so I'm wearing everything I've got. But despite these really low temperatures, the ice is highly mobile. Great blocks of it being forced together and prized apart with the winds and the currents. This kind of thing has always happened up here, but scientists say they're definitely seeing more of it. There's evidence that the ice is becoming thinner, not year by year, but decade by decade. And the thinner it becomes, the more easily it breaks up. We're entering what researchers call a new era in the Arctic. Divers venture under the ice. Down below, the brightest feature is the hole leading back to the surface. There is life down here, what's called a comb jelly pulsating in the dark. The ice becoming thinner means some creatures are losing their habitat. What has been seen around the Arctic is that these animals that live underneath the ice, the biodiversity of those have gone down across the Arctic and also their abundance and biomass have also gone down. All this research takes place under armed guard. There's a threat from polar bears. One approached the ship while we were on board and wandered close to a survey line. No one can be sure how rapidly the ice will retreat, but researchers are finding signs of a region being transformed. David Shukman, BBC News, in the Arctic.